Now we'll take one by one as far as your upper limb is concerned, as far as your hand is concerned. Elbow will be in slight flexion, but that's not important. What is important is that there will be shortening of the fingers and the toes. And what you can observe here is that your thumb and your index, uh, little finger will be almost like, I will not say normal, of course they are short in growth, but okay, you will find them at a normal angle to the angle of the palm. But what is going to happen to the second, third and the fourth finger is that not only they will be diverging and the correct word that we use in orthopedics is splaying. So not only they will be diverging, but they will also be splaying from each other and they will have a significant distance between them. And this is, I'm sure everybody is aware of what is called as tried hand, trident hand or the trishul hand. So uh, trishul is somewhat like this. So it is called as a starfish hand also, you know, they call it a starfish hand also. So you can call it a trident hand, you can call it a starfish hand. So this is a classical picture that everybody should know. As far as color is concerned, I've already explained certain things to you. We'll add a couple of other things also. There'll be a large skull, large calvarium. <coughs> And there will be a prominent forehead, <clears throat> there will be a flattening of the nasal bridge, okay. There is quite a possibility of increased intracranial pressure, hydrocephalus. Uh, there is recurrent uh, otitis media, it is a blockage of the eustachian tube. Uh, sleep apneas are usually seen. Again, you can see the rhizomelic dwarfism, the large head with prominent forehead. Spine is, I would say, the most troublesome part in these people. The most troublesome part. You will have an exaggerated thoracic kyphosis. You will have an exaggerated lumbar lordosis. But that is okay. I mean, these things are important as far as orthopedic point of view is concerned. Exaggerated dorsal kyphosis and exaggerated lumbar lordosis. But what is most irritating is the spinal canal stenosis. Because of very uh, thick ligamentum flavum and very short pedicle which I will show you in the due course of time and we'll come to investigation we'll talk about x-ray how do you